So this is, a, of course, a mental detox soup, and it's important to understand that many individuals going into the new year, one of the uh, top resolutions that we make is physical fitness. And it's important to understand that while we embrace this physical fitness, it's important to get in to your uh, primary care physicians and understand what's going on with your body. Yes. So getting those checkups, over 80% of individuals in America, adults that is, do not um, actually go in and receive exercise regularly throughout the week. Over 350 individuals actually suffer cardiac when they're in the gyms. It actually exercising. Actually exercising in the gyms wow. because there's okay. some issues that they may face that they are unaware. Sure. And so it's important to get in and receive those checkups. If you don't have someone, you, there are places that actually you can go in and, and get blood work done. Mm -hmm. Call up, uh, you can call up myself or anyone else that you are probably uh, familiar with to actually read your blood work to understand what's going on with your enzymes, your, yes. your, your blood count, your T levels, just a number of things you need to be aware of before you actually go in and start really going ham that at the beginning of the year. That's good. So, I don't think a lot of people realize that. Yeah, they just important. think, I'm just going to jump full force into it. Absolutely. Just go, <laughs> go right into it and start, you know, get, really getting that workout. And because we're so prone to want to, you know, get to what we see when we're watching, mag looking at magazines, right. the TV, and, right. and those things are, have their adjustments because we never know what the body is uh, actually taking on at that moment. Very, very good. So how is this going to help us detox? So there are a number of minerals in here. You've got potassium, magnesium, a number of many minerals and vitamins that's inside of this uh, detox soup here. You've got uh, lentils, there's cabbage, there's uh, yellow potatoes, there's, I mean, a number of things that I put in, in, into this uh, as I made it this morning. And so I actually send in a list of things that can kind of help us to be able to be uh, mindful as we take on this year. Um, and, and some of the newer, new year resolutions that I feel like individuals can definitely keep. And that is um, don't focus on subtracting food, actually add more of the good things that you need to add to the diet. Um, and then you'll go, of course, do a kitchen cleanse. Um, okay. Along with the kitchen, yeah, go through and clean out everything in yes. the kitchen and then just kind of re, uh, gener uh, regenerate some of the things that are really proactive for you uh, for yourself. Plan a snack attack throughout the day. So it. in the morning time, definitely go in and uh, put together some things in a baggie so that you're actually able to use those things as you're on the go. Very good. Of course, uh, reboot your workout. Take a week, um, take it a week at a time. Reward yourself. That's important that to always important. do that. Yes. Uh, reboot your stressful <laughs> days. So throughout the day, take some time to really go in, sit, be with yourself so okay. that you can kind of re you know, regenerate yourself. Uh, take a day at a time, of course, and try meditation. That's important for us to do. Yeah. Uh, keep a fatigue diary. So throughout the day, if you notice yourself becoming fatigued throughout the day, take a moment and actually jot down when you're fatigued and why you're fatigued. What's stressing you out okay. so that you can stay on your regimen? Of course, good. keep um, uh, make a to-do list and a to-don't list. So write down everything that you need to do throughout the day. It's important to do that. And you will not understand. And it's just so liberating to understand what you're doing throughout the day. Also do a to-don't list. Okay. So look at that list and say, this is what I'm not going to do today. These are okay. the things that I can put off to the next day. And I of course, that. plan for bedtime. Write in bedtime on there. Isn't that sad that we have to do that this day and age that we're living in? But we're so inundated, we're, yeah, with we're so so, especially with social media and, and yeah. the digital age. I love it. Wonderful list to start us up on the New Year's. Thank you so much. You're very Where can people go for more information? Is this recipe online? Uh, so you can find this recipe, <laughs> recipe online. You can also find it uh, at uh, Dr. Springer, um, Wise and Well, uh, Well, Dr. Springer, Wise and Well. You can find it on our Facebook. Uh, why is it with Dr. Stephen and Springer? And so Wonderful. these things, along with a number of tips you can find on our Facebook as well as our personal website. Excellent. Stephen, thank you so much. Again, Happy New Year. Yeah, as always, folks, just head to nmliving.com for more information, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 